Hello again. I'm going to show you now how to use the measuring part of the Measure Me application. First, I click the measure button, which launches our 3D Measure Me viewer. You can see some buttons up at the top and a viewport over on the right and a large area on the left, which we'll get to in a minute. The first thing you want to do is load somebody's body. So you click the little person icon here and all of the bodies that you have uh, captured previously will show up in this list and you can pick from the list to load a body into the viewer. It takes about 30 seconds or so and then you can see the body in the viewer. This is our test dummy. On the right side you have viewport controls and you can see different views here. We've got 3D right, left, back, and front. So I'm going to change it to the 3D view which allows me to spin the model around and if I pinch I can zoom in and out. So standard tablet controls. If I push home I'll go back to my starting position. There's a grid button on the right below the home button. If I push that I can see a grid and when I zoom in my grid gets finer so that I can use it for counting measurements and things like that. Now I'm going to load some measurements that have been predefined. So over here where it says select an MD file, if I just click that, the default measurements that are stored on this tablet will be loaded and applied to the body. And that takes again about 30 seconds or so to complete. Alright, our body is now measured and these green lines indicate different measurements on the body. On the left side of the screen, over here, we can see the list of measurements. Measurements like the hips, the bust, the waist, high hip are all listed here. And if I scroll my finger down, I can see more measurements. So, I get three views basically. I have my measurements on the left with the value and I can change it from inches to centimeters by clicking this units button. I see it in the 3D view highlighted in red along with the measurement in the viewport and I have a display of the measurement on the left side of the screen in the shape view. But let's say that we want to make our own measurements. We're not happy with what we have by default. We have two buttons over here on the left. One for length and one for girth. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a girth measurement. At the bottom of the screen it says, pick a point on the mesh to begin the girth measurement. So I'm going to do a, a slightly lower waist measurement. So I'm going to pick a point right here. If I want to adjust it, I simply grab the measurement and drag it. And you can see how the measurement changes as I move it up and down the body. That looks good to me. When I'm finished, I push the blue girth button again to finish the tool. And my measurement gets added down at the bottom. If I want to change the name of the measurement, I can double tap and type in the new name of that measurement. And of course, if I select the measurement, it highlights it and shows me the measurements like we said before. There's one other type of measurement we can make, which is a length measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by clicking the length button. And it says here, pick, on the point, pick a point on the mesh to begin the length measurement. I'm going to do an arm measurement. So I'm going to start at the shoulder and then pick another point to finish the measurement down to the wrist. Now this tells me that from that point to that point we're about twenty and a half inches. If I want to adjust the point I can drag either of the points to where I want them to be. Say I only want to go to elbow, I can drag this up to the elbow point. And then to look at the, uh, finish the, sorry, finish the measurement by clicking the length button on the left and then view it by changing to my 3D view. So I folded that out, hit 3D, zoom in, and I can see how the measurement goes from point A to point B. And then back home to reset my view. There are a couple other features here that are useful. Uh, one is split screen. I can make two views, so if I want to see it from the left and also from the front, 
I can do both simultaneously in my split screen view. And finally, if I want to give these measurements to someone else to use them, I can export. Over by the measurement list here on the left, you can see the export button. If I push that, it gives me a dialog that says save. I can type a name for the measurement, choose the location, push save, and it'll save those out as a text file to be used. That's basically it. Sometimes you need to be able to see the shape of the person that you're measuring. Um, to do that, we've got a useful tool here over on the viewport side, which we call Silhouette. If you click that, our body turns into an outline mode. We can still pan and zoom and take a look at it, but this is really useful for identifying body features such as a drop shoulder or posture changes. And the grid, when you zoom in, uh, gets finer to help you make measurements. So we're in inches right now, so you can see each one of these little squares is one inch. As I zoom out, we go to five inches and 10 inches.